Hello, this is Sasha for NetbookNews.com. I'm over here in Paris at the Netbook World Summit, and as you can see, I have someone with me. It's an old friend of mine, Oliver Ceres uh, from Blumpit. Uh, Oliver, how are you doing today? Fine. It's, uh, I'm, I'm glad to, to, to meet you. It's been, uh, it's been a while. And, it's been a while, like, and, like, like uh, in Vegas last like January yeah, last time, right? And, and now you're at uh, this event, uh, this Netbook Summit, and, and, to, and tomorrow the, the web. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, we are official bloggers. Oh, so. there you go, exactly. You know, just a little promotion for the web that is just starting uh, tomorrow, right after the Netbook World Summit. So, but actually, uh, Olivier, um, when I got to know you the first time, you've been talking to me, uh, it was last year during the Netbook World Summit, uh, we've been talking about uh, future tablet um, uh, GUI. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, uh, I think you have something to show, right? Yeah. So the, 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 the concept is to, um, to get the internet out of PCs. That's the, the philosophy, and that's what I wanted to do with the first step, which is a, which is a tablet. I think uh, netbooks will uh, more and more uh, include um, uh, touch screens. So they, they will become a tablet PC, and then we will we'll come to a, to, a, to a time where the, there's no physical keyboard at all. So I, I, I I, 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 I did this uh, interface, so I'm doing interface and I, uh, uh, for easy to use devices uh, uh, at home uh, in order to, for uh, housewives, housewives to access internet and also yeah. geeks to access internet uh, when they are out of the, their PC to do uh, a three minutes operations and, and that's it. You know, before we're taking a look at uh, your software and your GUI, um, let's take a look at the device itself. It's over here. So Olivier, can you tell us a little bit about the hardware and the platform at all? What yeah. kind of display is this and everything? So it, 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 is, uh, so it is on a, on a dock here, but uh, you can uh, take it out. And the visibility is not uh, good because we are outside, but so this is a tablet uh, 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 with an Atom uh, 270. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, in fact, with the with the touch screen, so um, is this a resistive or a capacitive one? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, resistive, but okay. uh, it's uh, under eighty grams because eighty grams is the limit where you can uh, use your fingers. Um, above, you've got to to get, to get the stylus, but the side stylus is not. Uh, uh, any any more uh, very fashionable? So uh, let's take a quick look around the system over here. That's a four-in-one card reader, right? And yeah, you can you can uh, put some uh, cards for the photos and you two USB 2.0. Two, two USB. Is but there anything on the front, or are these these are the only? Co oh, look yeah. at look at this. There, here, there are plenty you, of outlets. Here. Yeah, you have plenty of outlets, but the fact is that um, you cannot compare it to a regular PC because okay. the, this is a. Um, uh, this is an appliance, so mm -hmm. uh, people don't have to bother about about this and 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 USB. But uh, of course, it, it is useful. But this uh, device is made for to to be uh, set on a wall, for instance, or to to be uh, to set on a table. Yeah. So it's not a PC. It's something different. We, we it's next generation. So it's uh, Intel Atom N270. Uh, how, how much RAM? One gigabyte. Uh, we we have two two gigabytes of two RAM. gigabyte of yeah. RAM in there. Yeah. And do you use a hard disk or an SSD? Well, we can use uh, both, but uh, um, uh, well, he, here this is an SSD, uh, thirty-two uh, uh, gigs. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can you can put a uh, hardware uh, uh, drive in it. So, look, so look, looks great. And hey, there th there is a webcam here. Oh, fantastic! And um, so the the Wi-Fi is a um, is a good quality and. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are implementing the the, the three G uh, uh, connectivity. Connectivities. Yeah. What kind of battery does it have? Um, the battery is. Uh, well, we can uh, we can open it uh, here. So the battery is uh, here. It's three thousand. Three uh, three thousand milliampere, but. So I think it's a three cell battery, right? Yeah, it is three cell battery, but we, we um, the the manufacturer works on. A, bigger batteries, so... Uh, Great. You know, why, why, why don't we go inside and take yeah, a look yeah. at uh, your operating system itself? Okay. So here we are. Um, that's the GRI from Olivier. So Olivier, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the name? What, what, what name does this uh, GUI have? Or oh, the does the product have any name? The name is uh, Blumpit. Blumpit, okay. Okay, it's, uh, it comes from, from uh, 
blimp. Blimp is, uh, you know what a blimp is? Okay. And uh, so you can navigate under the, on, uh, between the clouds with it. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay. So, so, so show us a little bit. This is this is your your, your main uh, screen. Yeah, and so you you've got uh, it looks like a big iPhone here. Yeah, you can uh, switch page here very easily, uh, and you can uh, access uh, different uh, services. And you've got an on-screen uh, keyboard. Okay. Mm -hmm. That looks good. So you can go to netbook. Uh, that's actually one of my favorite sources for netbook news. Okay, netbook news. <laughs> so it is still a prototype, but uh, you can... Uh... Okay, here we go. Wow, so that, we that looks see. like a fantastic blog. Really? <laughs> there we go. So we are uh, connected over Wi-Fi right now. Yeah, the connection right. is a bit, a bit slow, but uh, well, you can, uh, you can uh, scroll here. And uh, I can go and uh, see. Uh, so I can uh, bookmark the here. Get, uh, okay, it doesn't. Okay, and you can come back. Here uh, you've got uh, an application store. Okay. Okay, so you can uh, scroll. Oh, with interesting. The, so I can immediately install um, uh, the service as an application to yeah, my device. Yeah, for instance, uh, Cocktail. So you blump it. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, the uh, here, oh. And uh, you've got a cocktail here. Ah, okay, I got that, it. That, that appears. Okay, you've got also the weather. The weather, uh, so we're working on it, and the news. Okay. You can change countries. Uh, there, there is a... Uh, Something around the, the, the messaging uh, messaging system and uh, also fo photo. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, and so, so you've got uh, some albums, and you can you can load uh, albums from your your PC directly to the to the tablet. Okay, and, cool. And so to allow your grandmother to to watch the, your photos directly from the tablet. Yeah. So this is based on a Linux system. What kind of distribution are you using for it? Are you using Debian or Ubuntu or Gentoo or Slackware? Well, or? here you've got uh, there is a Ubuntu. Okay, I got it. But um, but uh, you can uh, you can install it on on Windows if you want. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Because it's uh, it's uh, it runs uh, on top of Firefox. Ah, uh, okay, I got it. So yeah, you you're independent in terms of operating system. Okay, so show us a little bit about um, the Feedly uh, plugin that you also use. Yeah, okay, you press here, Feedly. And then you can... Uh, so Feedly is, uh, is, uh, is a novel way of, uh, of Google Reader uh, made by a very smart guy called uh, Edwin uh, Kobadachian who lives in, uh, in Palo Alto. And then you, you've got all your... Uh, of course, I have the UMPC here. Uh, and uh, you can uh, get uh, information very quickly here. So it's actually a plug-in for your Firefox browser. Yeah. And that, that's aggregating your sources from the Google Reader. Yeah. But you can also add Im uh, immediately a feed source to the Feedly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, also we can uh, access to, uh, to the Flickr, uh, to, to Flickr. Okay, so... Here we can uh, see. I've been to the startup weekend uh, mm -hmm. last weekend, so uh, you can uh, you can see uh, and and also uh, you can access very easily to uh, other websites like uh, like Twitter. Okay. So I can tweet from here. I like the virtual keyboard. That's very quick. Um, Looks good. Wait, Sasha. It's underscore P. Mm -hmm. At Netbook Summit. Fantastic.
There we go. It works. Looking great. Yeah. Thank you. So, of course, you know, I have an important question for you. Uh, when will it be available? What is the price point for it? Well, it will you only sell it as your own device or can we also get the software? Well, we will uh, distribute the, the, the plugin uh, for free. Okay. So, everybody, everybody can uh, use it, but it's dedicated to touchscreen. So, uh, you can it install it on your own computer, but mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the experience is better on, on touchscreen devices. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, because this, it, it turns every, uh, every tablet PC into uh, an appliance. Ah, okay, I got it. So you're not planning to uh, distribute your own hardware for it. It's, it's, it's all about the software, so yeah, there's more it's, tech it, anymore. It's all uh, about the software, but uh, because there's no there's no uh, there's no Slate PC uh, available uh, on shops right now, mm -hmm. um, uh, I will uh, distribute. Uh, a lot of people uh, ask me to 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 have uh, to buy. Uh, all experience, um, the software plus the hardware. Yeah. So I, I will, um, I will uh, distribute some uh, some tablets. Okay, sounds interesting. When can we expect it on the market? Uh, well, in in, uh, in a few weeks. That sounds great. So this was Sasha from NetbookNews.com at the Netbook World Summit uh, with a tablet and the Blumpet GUI. And, by it, and, and it will be available uh, very soon on uh, on the Blumpet.com. Definitely we have to add this, right? So blumpit.com, head over there, take a look at this great UI from Oliver Serres that he was just showing us over here at the Netbook World Summit in Paris.